Lucky them trout, y'all. I'd say we got on a good bite. Oh, we on some trout, and we on some trout. All right, it's not even daylight, y'all. We done got our first keeper trout. Look at there, guys. First cast. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. I was waiting for it to get daylight enough to start this video. And I made one little cast, and she nailed it. Mm-hmm. All right, good trout, y'all. Good trout. Good trout. Good trout. Look at there. Look at there. I got it. I got it. I got it. Keep on fishing. Keep on fishing. I got it. All right. Pops is going to net me. He ain't that big, but I think he'll keep. How about this? <laughs> I think he might keep, though. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Hook right there in the corner of the mile. Oh yeah, that's gonna definitely be keeper trout. Looking at 17 inch fish. Trout number two. Going in the box, y'all. Going in the box. What's going on everybody? I'm Captain Jody, Bayou Bandit Charters. Out here with my dad today. Been a while since we've been able to fish together. Yeah, it's good to be out here. Beautiful morning. So we're out here trout fishing early this morning, a little bit of rain, sun just has came up. As y'all saw, we've already put two nice trout in the boat. I think it's gonna be a real good day for trout fishing. If you like inshore fishing around the Alabama, Mississippi Gulf Coast, give my channel a subscribe. I'd appreciate it, help me out a lot. Thank y'all, let's get back on the action. We're way back in the marsh this morning, fishing a deeper marsh creek. That's how I like targeting my trout in the winter time using fish bite, butt kickers, four inch paddle tails. I'm using the white haymaker. My dad's got on the chartreuse, which is a tap out. Seeing if we can get on some bigger speckled trout. Got two nice ones in the box already. It's setting up to be a good morning. Light mist and rain, about 50 degrees. We're at the tail end of a falling tide. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, there we go. Another good trout. I don't think he's as good as the other one. Is he net worthy or is he boat flipping worthy? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, he's keeper. Let's go ahead and net him. There we go. Trout number three. I think that is the smallest fish of the morning. Still gonna be probably 15 and a half, 16 inch fish. Get him over here, take a measurement. 16 and a half. Trout number three in the box. Let's go. Just giving that bait a bump, bump, pause, letting it glide down, and they're hitting it on that fall. And when I feel them hit it, I don't set the hook immediately. They're not gonna spit these baits out. They like how they taste. So I let it fall and then I put a little side load on my rod tip. I feel that trout on there, then I set the hook. Got a little north breeze. Rained on us pretty hard before daylight on the ride over. Glad that has quit. Hopefully that rain will hold off today. Hopefully it'll stay overcast love trout fishing on these overcast days got the family down for the holidays going to try to get a mess of trout where we can have a good fish fry you want to throw right down the middle when you're fishing these deeper creeks and spend a lot of time on your deeper bends work it real thoroughly because a lot of times they'll stack up in there and you can pull three or four nice trout out of one spot Got 56 degree water temperature this morning. Not real cold, but cold enough to get these trout committed to these creeks. Mm-hmm. There we go. He's staying down. Oh yeah, good trout. Good trout. Good trout. Oh. 
Well, that's one way to get him in the boat. <laughs> All right. Another trout. Another old trout. Oh yeah, another 17 inch fish. Going in the box, y'all. If y'all been following the channel, y'all know I love these fish bite products. As much as I love the Dirty Boxer for flounder and reds, I love this butt kicker for trout. They absolutely love it. All good quality trout this morning. Very little throwbacks. A lot of times you got to weed through those smaller trout to find some good ones, but we on, we on the good ones this morning, y'all. All good eating size trout, 17 to 18 inch fish. We catch any over 20, we'll be throwing them back. But I love them around 16, 17 inches for eating. Golly, as soon as it hit the water. Yeah. Oh, that's a good, ooh. Ooh, that's a, ooh, that's a big stay down. Stay down, stay down. When you fighting a bigger trout, you wanna keep that rod tip low low as possible that's a good fish i think that one's gonna be over 20 y'all go on this side of the boat over here there oh that's a good one that's a good trout all right let's go let's go Let's go, let's go. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's a, that's a fine, that's, that's a fine trout right there, y'all. Look at that fine, fine, beautiful trout right there, y'all. That's what we get up early in the morning for, in the cold. That's what it's all about right there. Let's see, let's get a measurement on her. 21, 21 inch trout. We'll be turning her back. All right, let's get the bait out of your mouth, big girl. Give you a safe, safe release. Look at that big, big, beautiful trout right there. Nice girl, nice girl. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for the fight. Let's go. Let's do that again, y'all. That's what it's all about. It's worth getting up early. Coming out here. Boy, she hit it. She crushed it. Just as soon as that bait hit the water. I didn't even click, click the reel over. And she was on. Good net job there, Daddy. A good fish. <laughs> Let's get some more like that. Actually, we want some a little bit smaller than that. We want some we can eat. All right, Pop's got a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good trout. Good trout. Oh. Boom. Let's go. Good. All right, get yourself a little slack on your reel there. There we go. Another good keeper trout, y'all. They love that fish bite. They do. They do. Look at there. Look at that trout. Boom. 18 inch, solid 18. Good. Going in the box. Putting on a trout clinic today. They are stacked in this creek without falling tide. All right, there you go. Keep her down, keep her down. Keep her down, bring her to me. Yeah. Oh, good one, good one, boom. <laughs> there you go. Good one. Fish bite. Yeah. Another good keeper trout. 
Love that size to put in the frying pan. Mm -hmm. Choked it, y'all. Choked it. If y'all ain't using these fish bites, <laughs> y'all missing out. Missing out. Boom. Another 18 inch trout. Way to go, man. Awesome. Awesome. Boom. Get in that box. Talk a little bit about my setup using a quarter ounce jig head that's all i use in the marsh i've got 20 pound braid to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader tied with a double uni knot using a seven foot six medium fast action rod from hobo custom rods and i got a loose bait caster on there to me that is a perfect setup for flounder fishing trout fishing red fishing that's my standard setup. Anything related to the marsh, they ought to be stacked up right around this bend, right around the inside of that point and that whole outer bend. They ought to be stacked up in there with that falling tide. Mm-hmm. Nah. I got it. Another good keeper trout. Get my head shakes. Getting that net, boy. Another good one. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. Like I said, right off that point. Choked it. Choked it. Choked it deep. Give me back my butt kicker. Get out of your throat. Golly. Tell me they don't want these baits. 16 inch trout. In the box. Perfect eating size fish. Seeing a lot of activity around here in that deeper part of that bend. We're gonna cover that real good. Mmm! I ain't got some shoulders on him. Ooh. Stay down, big girl. Stay down, big girl. Oh, that's fine, trout. All the way to the back where you can get hold of her good. Fine, trout. Are we on? Got some weight to her. Are we on some trout? Are we on some trout? I told y'all that bend right there, that deeper bend. I mean, look at that big old fat trout. Look at that big old fat girl right there. 21. 21 inch trout. That's a beauty. Another big old girl. We're gonna get the plier. She choked it deep. We're gonna let her go. There we go. There you go, girl. There you go. All right. All right, getting her back safely in the water. Thanks for the fight, big girl. Thanks for the fight. There you go. All right. Old butt kicker's kicking butt, y'all. Old butt kicker is, is kicking some butt. Man, I love these baits. Man, I love those baits. Like I said, spend the time, work out these, these deeper bends in these creeks. Take your time, cover them good. Don't be in any hurry. You wanna 
twitch, twitch, pause, reel in your slack when that bait's fluttering back down, and that's when they're gonna nail it on that pause. Mm. Smaller one. I think that's the smallest fish of the day, y'all. Smallest one of the day. You had to nail it quick, didn't you? Them big girls are gonna take it from you. Mmm! Ooh! If I say trout, it is a big trout. We pull and drag. We pull and drag. If it's sitting a redfish, it is a stud hammer trout, y'all. It still ain't come up. It's pulling drag. Oh, it's a big trout. Oh, it's a big trout, y'all. It's a big trout. I'm gonna have to play her out a little bit. She ain't gonna be ready for the net for a minute. Oh, she's a good one. She's a good one, y'all. No, it's a red. <laughs> oh, it's a red fish. You fooled me. You fooled me. Man, I thought I didn't have me a big old gator trout. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the gold on that thing, y'all. Look how golden. Look how golden that fish is. Copper is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a little bit. Look how fat. Look how fat that red fish is, y'all. We're going to end up letting him go. He's a little bit bigger than I like to eat. We can get some good pictures of him, give him a good safe release. All right, big girl. Get that old hook out of your mouth. Get a measurement on you. 20, 28 inches. Bigger than I like to keep. We gonna let her go. Let somebody else catch her. There you go. Thanks for the fight. <laughs> I thought I had me a big old gator trout, y'all. I swear I did. All right, calm down, everybody. I was just a redfish. <laughs> now, let's get back on the trout. There we go. There we go. Another trout, another trout, another trout. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna boat flip that one right there. Looks like he's hooked pretty good. All right. He's gonna be close. He's gonna be close. Let's see what we're dealing with. 15 inch trout. Made the cut in the box. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I got it. I got another. Got another good trout. Come on. Come on in here. Here we go. There we go. There we go. I think he just will make the cut. Boom. See what we got, what we got. Oh yeah, 16 inch, 16 inch trout, y'all. Woo, look at all them trout in there, boy. Woo, we're gonna have a fish fry, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. There you go. 
Keep him down. Keep him down. Keep him down. Keep him down. I got you. Keep him down. I got you. I got you. All right. Another trout. Another good eating size trout. Probably sitting on about 16 inches. Let's see what we got. See what we got right there. Boom. 16 inches. In the box, in the box, in the box. All right, we had a great time out here this morning, y'all. Got on a good, good trout bite. When that temperature drops and you got moving water, you got a falling tide like we had this morning, you can get on a good, good trout bite in these deeper marsh creeks, marsh drains. If you like the content, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it, it helped me out a lot. And if you didn't see me in the bayou, you can see me right here on Bayou Bandit Charters every Sunday morning, nine o'clock. See y'all on the next one.